it's impossible to, to even understand what you go through. We went from 5,000 employees down to none I mean, throughout the United States. Um, I think the saddest part about it is, um, is the responsibility you understand that you have to your employees. That I never understood. Um, today I would do nothing to jeopardize one of the jobs that we have. So um, it's our employees that got us to where we are today, and we do a lot of things, which I'll talk about a little later with the employees. So you have to understand the responsibilities you're going through. So that really hurts. Um, it was just devastating. It was, you know, I didn't think I'd ever recover mentally or emotionally from going through that. And it wasn't for me, it was for the families that you affect. You know, the people in the room to, that are sitting here, whether they have two employees or 20 employees or 30 employees and stuff like that, you are responsible for those people. Their lives depend upon you for the most part. You're directing them, you're managing them, uh, and they, they depend on everything that you do. So I, I, I never took that responsibility or thought about that responsibility. So that was a tough part for me um, to, to understand. Um, and that hurt the most. Not that I was out of a job or out of a business or things of that nature. Um, I, I eventually knew that I probably could bounce back from that. But the destruction that I did from within. So the day that happened, I decided that this would never happen to me again. And I had this um, thing when something goes wrong to sit down and focus in on what went wrong, what problems it caused, and make sure it never, never happened again, and what lessons I could learn from the mistakes I did. It was that, is that process part of what helped you kind of get through that? And then it, do, it helps you get through it, and it helps you do it even today. When you have a bad day, we all have bad days at businesses. I mean, sometimes everything goes wrong, and sometimes everything goes right. And so we sit down, we try to analyze it. How did this come about? Was it our own fault? Can we change it? You know, so we have this different attitude towards things. I, but, I, you know, I think it, it's a very subtle step, but I think that's something a lot of people overlook, which is actually taking the time to analyze, all right, I had a bad day, what went wrong today? Right, yeah. It's what went wrong today and how can we correct it and, and always, but most entrepreneurs are really positive thinking people. You know, they know they're gonna have a better day tomorrow or the day after that. You know, we all look, I would say, the majority of everybody in this room is not a fatalist, they're a positive person and they look for, for better times. So, so that's the thing. So when we do that, we sort of forget what happened to us, and we, you shouldn't do that. You should think positive. Tomorrow's going to be a great day, but how could we have changed today? So otherwise, you don't learn the lesson from today. We all do that. You know, tomorrow, oh, we, we lost a big count, not a problem. And my wife will tell you that when something really tragic happens in our company or it's something dramatic, she knows that I'm going to struggle back and I'm going to make it a positive. So I always look to make it a positive, and not a phony positive saying, okay, here's what we did wrong, and here's what we're going to change, and here's what we're going to do tomorrow, and we go after things. So it sort of spurs me on to do other things.